Okay, what do you think? Looks delicious? I'm not sure what these are. They look like little pastries or tarts of some kind. And this is part of the light show in the daytime. There's no light show at the moment. The things will be all lit up at night. And we're just gonna kind of walk around this little plaza area. This is also a divine line between casinos over there and type of village over here. So uh, let's get into this after you see this. Chiquinha. Chiquinha. Let's go check out the room. Hey, after you watch this, tell me what you like most about it. Put it in the comments below. Also, make sure that you like, subscribe, and hit that little bell button so you can see when I make other videos too. Okay, so let's take a look around here before we do anything. So on this side, this is, uh, I, guess, I think this used to be, I'm not really sure, but I imagine a long time ago, maybe there was boat, definitely boats that would come in here because the water would come up to here. And I think that this whole thing was maybe filled with maybe some vendors here that would maybe sell either tickets to the boat or like oysters because I think this whole island used to be known as is uh, nothing but oysters and firecracker factories and uh, if you walk straight down that way down there there's an area that had uh, big space with uh, firecracker signs in Chinese <laughs> referencing exactly that and this would say the village of Taipa so you'd come in through the village of Taipa type of village and so basically now there's a uh, casinos on the other side, so what used to be ocean and where the boats would come up and probably, you know, buy oysters and firecracker stuff. Now we have casinos over on this side. And then you also have, so you have the Venetian way down there, um, Venetian Casino, and then this right here is the Skyway. And there's the station right there. Here we go. Sola, uh, Sol Portugal. Oh, hola Portugal. Okay, I thought that said soul. That's a music note. So it's actually hola, like hello Portugal. Got some kind of cool little characters up there with music. And that's this train station. So I've, I have taken some videos where I've taken the train a little bit. Um, it's a, uh, it's nice, of course. Let's just kind of see. I think what we're gonna do is maybe just highlight some of these things. These things. Got a musical note, and then we got a kiosk over here. I think this is where maybe the police used to station themselves. These, they're kind of dotted all around Taipa, so I think they were like little police places. Maybe you could ask for information, or I don't know, but they haven't been used the whole time I've been here. They're definitely kind of a yesteryear thing. I think this is some old wells that were in this area. There's another one. And there's some stuff in English here too. Paycoke of Taipa with its beautiful environment and fascinating views are located at the end of Governor um, Tambignini Barbosa Street, which is that street right over there. Um, in 1999, the two islands, Small Taipa and Big Taipa, were still separated by the sea until the 1930s when a jetty was built stretching from Paycoke to the southwest of Small Taipa, which was in the vicinity of the original Taipa Pier. With this foundation, the land reclamation project was carried out between Small Taipa and Big Taipa combining the two type islands into one entire type of island. In the past, when the Governor Nobre de Cavallo Bridge was not yet constructed, boats from the Macau Peninsula could go ashore along this belt of embarkment. Later, due to the silt deposits and the need of society development in the 70s and 80s, the land near the jetty of Pecoq was gradually reclaimed. The remains of the part of the jetty today are actually the relics behind after the construction of the old days. Okay, so basically, we're talking about Big Island, Big Taipa and Little Taipa, there were two different islands. Um, I think way down there is um, an island called uh, Little Taipa. Sorry, mountain thing. And over here is Big Taipa, Taipa Grande. So basically, I think the references are to those two being kind of silted through. That construction way over there is, is China. Way over there. And over here goes into Taipa Village. And then that one street that they were mentioning, so it's part of the that one street they were mentioning was over here. Let's see if we can... This street, which is definitely a beautiful street with these beautiful vining trees all the way down. That's the name. And up here, you get all these kind of Portuguese tiles everywhere. Okay. So I think with that... Oh, no shaking. Not allowed to shake this thing. 
Who knows what would happen if you did. So anyways, I guess that's going to be the highlight of this little space. Okay. So let's end it right there. Let's go check out the room. Oh, hey guys. Three things. Like, subscribe, make some comments below. It'll really help out my channel. Alright.